Hi everyone. I'm just here um, to speak a little bit on menopause. I'm actually, I know a lot of people is going to look at me and say that um, she's talking about menopause. She doesn't look like um, she's menopausing or going through menopause. But yes, I am going through menopause. And so I want to say to all my ladies out there, you're in your teens, 20s, 30s and early 40s to enjoy yourself a lot because um, uh, when it menopause hits uh, it, there's going to be a lot of changes and so I'm just here to help out my fellow ladies who are going through it and you feel like you can't manage or you're alone no you're not and so, for me, everyone menopause differently and will experience a lot um, different stuff. But I'm just here to share with you what I am going through. And for me, the first thing um, that hits hard is the heat, the hot flashes. It's not easy. Um, I remember one summer I had to take off my entire clothes and go stand over the vent where the AC is coming up. And even though I stand there without clothes on, it was terrible. So the hot flashes, it's not easy. Um, it doesn't matter how much showers you take, you're still going to feel hot. And um, a lot of people might sweat during the night, but for me, my sweating is in the day. So it doesn't matter how much time you shower, that sweating is going to come on. And so you have to have a lot of clothes because for me, I can't stain it. Once I start sweating, I have to strip and, take and change my entire clothes. So for the day, I will change like three clothes for the entire day. Because I don't want to stay in something that is wet. So the sweating is really hard. It's terrible. And another thing is your hair. I started losing the middle of my hair. And didn't know what it was until I realized I was menopausing. And so to help out uh, my hair, I went on YouTube and I follow the people that um, do a lot of treatments for hair. And a lot of oils and this is how I find out that my hair is really you know working for me and I don't have to cut it off and um, the thinning yes it's thin they start breaking they start to see patches of um, hair falling out and so I start following these treatments and it works for me so guys you can just go YouTube Go on any one of the links that I'm um, doing here, treatments, and you can follow them. And honestly, it will help you. Uh, your skin. <laughs> wow, that's the harder part. If you want the skin to be glowing, yeah, you have to use a lot of butters, good oils, and um, lotions. So you have to go in that section. Anything for the babies, you know. You use the baby oils and all of that and get your skin, you know, really looking healthy and nice. And um, be, um, for me, don't feel ashamed um, to use baking soda and shower. I find it when I use baking soda to shower, I feel fresher. I just feel good because sometimes I made um, like... Epsom salt and baking soda and I do a hot bath in that and when I come out I feel good My body feel rejuvenated, will feel fresh and feel nice So don't be, be embarrassed for using baking soda as part of your um, health hygiene Your mental health Oh my god, I can't stress on that um, Guys, you have to um, ensure that your home is very comfortable because um you can have a real mental breakdown 
um, regarding when you're menopausing. So um, if any gentleman might see this video and you're watching it and you're married, I'm just asking you, take your time with your wife because it's not an easy process going through menopause. So she might want somebody to be there for her, to comfort, to love, show love, you know, understand what she's passing through. And um, I must say I'm happy that I'm not married because I think if I was married, I would have lost my husband because this is not an easy process. Because at times you just felt there comes in the mood swing. And um, when the mood swing come in, I just want to be alone. I don't want anybody to talk to. And so for me, in that space, I read my Bible, I pray, I talk to God. I might watch a movie. Um, I'm a sport person. And so I watch sports. But I definitely don't want anybody to talk to, you know, in that space. So it's very, very, it's, it's not healthy for relationships. And so I know that it would never work for me. And so I'm really happy that I'm not married. But for their husbands, please take time with your wife. You don't understand what we are going through. It's not an easy process. We need support. So support your partner going through menopause. And um, for me you now, um, health-wise, I would say to my fellow ladies, drink a lot of water. You want your skin to stay glowing. And you want your body to be hydrated. So you drink a lot. You go for water instead of um, juices. So I consume a lot of water, like five, seven bottles per day. Five is my limit. Um, but seven, going up to eight, I will take in per day. So... My body is always hydrated. I don't wait until I'm thirsty. I continue to drink water throughout the entire day. So uh, I would implore, drink a lot of water and um, exercise if you can. And um, for me, I'm not a gym person. I don't like the gym, but I take the stairs. I exercise on the stairs and sometimes I go for a walk, you know, all by myself, just enjoy walking. And for persons who do uh, secretarial work, like, you know, accountants or you're sitting down all day, I think walking would be a very um, nice way for you to do after work or wherever you choose in the morning, in the evenings. I, I don't like sitting down jobs. My jobs must keep me moving. I like to move. So I I don't go out for jobs that keep me sitting down. I like my body to move. So I don't like the gym and that's why I choose jobs that keeps me going. So at all times my body is exercising. Then I use the house chores even to exercise my body as well. Cleaning and all these things. So it helps to exercise me. I don't like the gym. I'm not a gym person. And a lot of people ask me, how do you stay um, with your body like this and you don't go to the gym? So, you see? I do not go to the gym and I can maintain my shape and um, I eat healthy. I cook my own food. I barely go out to have dinner or anything on the road. I cook my own meal. I have a lot of fruits and vegetables. I do not like sweets. Yes. <laughs> I don't like anything that is too sweet. Um, for juice, I'll add water if it's too sweet for me. And I cook my own food. And that, that's how I maintain the weight that I have because menopause it causes you to be overweight. And so I watch what I eat, watch what I drink. I eat in portions, uh, snacks or nuts. And um, as I said, drink a lot of water and I will have vegetables and like fruits. And that's my snacks. So um, just doing this video to help somebody who is going through the menopause 
and it's stressing you, you're not alone. I am just here to encourage you. It's just a phase and this too shall pass. One day we're gonna get over it. And so um, I hope this video is being um, helpful to somebody out there and just preparing those in their teens, 20s and 30s and early 40s to prepare yourself for what is to come. So if you like this video, like it, share it with somebody who's going through a menopause and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye guys, see you in the next video.